G'day guys, Luke here from Tech Blokes, and Android 10 is available to download on all Pixel devices. And in today's video, we're going to be checking out the 10 things that you'll absolutely love about Android 10. So let's jump in and get started. Alright guys, so the first thing that I want to talk about is Dark Mode. Now Dark Mode is available straight out of the box. All you need to do is jump into your settings, go to the display area, and turn on Dark Theme. It will essentially turn all of your screens, all of your settings into a dark mode. And I have noticed already a significant bump in battery life. Um, normally I'd get home after a work day and I'd be around about 20 to 30% battery life left. At the moment I'm noticing that's about 40 to 50%. And uh, I'm really enjoying all of the Google apps that use dark mode. So we've currently got uh, the Messages app, Google Pay now uses dark mode. Um, Google Drive has dark mode available and they'll just continue to roll out dark mode for a lot of applications. Now Google when they were doing the beta they also had a forced dark mode. That actually is still buried in the developer options and I'd probably suggest that you don't use that at the moment. Just use the standard dark theme that you get with Android 10. Alright guys to get to the gestures settings you need to scroll down and go into system and you'll have gestures as a second option at the top. But the one we want to go to is system navigation. So this has seen a few changes throughout the different beta releases, but the one that is currently set that I'm using is gesture navigation. And essentially it gives you this small pill at the bottom of the screen that you can swipe up to go in and out of apps with. It works a lot like iOS uh, and newer iOS devices, but you can then swipe between all of the apps you have open you can half swipe to get to all of the apps you have. And uh, you can also swipe, go back to the, the standard uh, small pill and back button, or you can go to the default three button navigation. Personally, I really like gesture navigation and I've been using it since it was the first release in Android 10 and it is awesome. So make sure you turn that on and uh, you'll get used to the new gestures built into Android 10. Alrighty guys, now the third improvement I really love is actually inside the camera app. Now we know that Pixel devices have pretty amazing cameras, but one of the things that's currently, um, in my opinion, slightly underrated is night sight mode. So night sight was always hidden all the way across into the more section. This is now a default mode that you can get to by swiping all the way to the left. And what it will allow you to do is take fantastic photos in extreme low light. Now, I've been using it, I tested it out pretty thoroughly on the weekend. Um, I was taking photos of a friend's car and the results that come out of Night Sight are simply incredible. So um, let me just show you one quick photo that I took with Night Sight. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. This is a, a friend's truck that we did some work on on the weekend. And this was actually in a very dimly lit shed. You can see up the top here, it's got Night Sight written so anytime you take a night sight photo you'll get this small uh, little notification up the top and the results that you get are pretty amazing literally this almost looks like it's been taken in the day it's that clear so night sight is an amazing feature that I absolutely love that is now baked into Android 10 all right now the fourth improvement that I really have enjoyed and I've already mentioned this is improved battery life so having dark mode and having uh, an AMOLED or a P AMOLED screen definitely helps with saving battery. Google actually told a lot of its developers that you should start considering baking in uh, a dark mode into your, you know, your iOS. So we have players like Samsung and Huawei and all that type of thing that are actually making their own dark theme or dark mode to help preserve battery life. And I can attest to that because I've noticed already just from doing a day-to-day um, activities and day-to-day -day calls and texts and watching YouTube that type of thing my battery life has definitely improved I typically get home and I notice probably an extra 10 to 15 percent um, more battery than what I would normally have now this is the Google Pixel 2 but if you're using a Pixel 3 or a Pixel 3a um, I would assume that you're also gonna see a good bump in battery life alright guys now the next thing I really love is the smart replies and notification size that you get with Android 10. So you can see that this notification here is much larger than what we had with um, Android 9. And we have these smart replies that are actually very accurate 
and related to the text message that you receive. So I use those quite often. I find they're very helpful, especially when you're out and about and you don't have time to sit down and type a full length SMS. You can just send those quick replies. You also have the ability to hit reply there and you can reply like we had with Android 9. But yeah, I just really appreciate that it's a much sort of bigger screen real estate. When you have multiple SMS, you can sort of swipe down and look through all of them all at once. And uh, all of the notifications, even the music player is much larger this time around. And you can see everything stacks up nicely. We get some nice colors um, for the song that's playing. And uh, yeah, we can just sort of swipe between them and swipe them away like we would all of our other notifications. So that's the next thing I really love. Let's move on to themes. All right, now themes is a little bit different to what you're probably expecting. It's not a theme store like we have with the Samsung devices or Huawei or any of those other manufacturers. It is kind of hidden still inside developer options. So you will need to turn developer options on to get to the ability to change themes. Now when I say themes, what I'm actually referring to is these accent colors that we have um, here with Android 10. Now by default, this is actually generally like a blue color, but you do have the ability to swap that and make it the color of your choice. So I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing you wanna do is jump into settings and you wanna scroll down and you wanna to go to system and inside system, we go to advanced and then developer options. Now to get to these actual different um, colors, we need to go a fair way down and right at the bottom here, we have theming. So we can actually change uh, fonts and icon shapes, but the, the, the option I'm referring to is the accent color. So if you click on accent color, you see you've got default, which is the light blue. You also have things like cinnamon and some other sort of weirder colors. Green's quite nice. And we also have purple. And I've been using the orchard. I really like the orchard color. So again, you just need to go into developer options, scroll all the way down, and you'll have this theming section here. Um, I think it's definitely worth turning on because it, it sort of changes the whole look of Android 10. I'll just quickly show you icon shapes because they're cool too. So you have square, teardrop, squircle, and rounded rectangle. And essentially it just changes the icon shape that you get here in the notification tray. All right, now the next thing I've really appreciated with the update to Android 10 is improved app control. So now when you open a particular app, if you haven't used it before and it's a new application, it will actually get a notification from Google to say, do you want this app to have the ability to use your location in the background? So if you're the kind of person that doesn't really want apps knowing what you're doing and where you're going, you will get a prompt when you first start the app to say yes, it can um, use my location in the background or no, it can only use my location when the app is open. Now, I've noticed for a lot of apps, um, they wanna use my location and generally they're apps that don't even really need to use my location. So I have appreciated that Google has allowed us to set that option um, to be turned off by default. I've sort of, basically with all the apps I've installed recently, I've just said no, only use my location data when the app is open. And I've also noticed that that's given me a small bump in battery life as well. All right guys, and the next one I want to talk about is what we call Google Maps AR. And essentially this was an update to Google Maps that was only available to Pixel devices for a couple of weeks there. It's now available to other devices as well. But essentially what you can do is when you are in uh, a location, you can actually go into Google Maps and you can use the AR mode, hold up the device and scan certain locations and it will actually give you the ability um, to be walking and seeing a footpath um, navigation so that you can basically walk around holding your phone up and looking at landmarks and have a, an actual footpath um, navigation in front of you. And it's really cool. I really love what Google is doing there. They're obviously using all of the technology and imagery um, from Google Maps to give us a, a much better experience while we're, we're walking around. Um, I, I've used it in uh, Melbourne once and it was such a cool experience to be able to hold the phone up and get landmarks and essentially just have this navigation on screen while I'm walking 
Um, you know, Google Maps in the car is awesome, but having that functionality is really cool, and I love that that's baked in to Android 10. Okay guys, so the next one I want to talk about is the improved share sheet that we get with Android 10. So sharing on Android has always been really good, we've always had heaps of options, but now we have the ability to, uh, when we hit the share button, swipe up, and everything loads instantly. Uh, all of the things that you would typically do and all of the people that you talk to fairly often are in the top section here. We have the ability to uh, share to the most frequently used applications, but then we have a full app list that we can choose from. Now, I've, I always kind of notice on uh, my Samsung is when I hit the share button, there'd always be a bit of a lag for this share sheet to pop up. It's now much quicker and um, I'm really enjoying um, all of the sort of smarts that go into showing the most frequently used people and frequently used applications as well. Alrighty guys, digital well-being is the last thing I wanna talk about. Now, I don't use digital well-being a lot, but if you are the kind of person that wants to spend less time on your device, if you wanna be a bit more conscious about how much screen time that you are having, maybe you've got young kids and maybe you're worried they're spending too much time on their phone, this is a great way to do it, and Android 10 is definitely providing a lot of tools to help you manage your digital life. So you have the ability to see um, all of the applications you're using, how much time you've spent, how much screen time you've had. You've got ways to disconnect. Android 10 gives you the option to set time periods where you can't use your phone or there's certain apps you don't wanna use. Um, you can also have parental controls, which you can see down the bottom there and you can manage your family's devices. And I think that's really cool. If you've got kids that have got Android devices and you're worried they're spending too much time, you do have the option to sort of limit how much time they are using. All right guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you for checking out the 10 things that I'm sure you'll love about Android 10. It is available to all Pixel devices, even the older Pixel, the original Pixel, the Pixel 2, the Pixel 3, the Pixel 3a. And there are a lot of manufacturers that are also releasing um, Android 10 pretty quickly. I've noticed we've got manufacturers like OnePlus already releasing uh, betas that are very close to being a full uh, version. So if you wanna check out Android 10, hit the link below. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button, drop a comment below. What do you love about Android 10? And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.